Hello everyone, welcome back to Royalty Soaps. Now I know my voice is a little scratchy, but it's just allergies, I promise. I'm fine. This year we're doing something a little bit different. We are not gonna make a video for every single holiday soap because you guys have already seen the holiday soaps a million times. I'm gonna be making a lot of the same soaps this year that I have made in years prior, but I am adding one new one, which is actually a remake of a soap that I've already made before too, just not for Christmas. <laughs> So today we're going to make a black raspberry vanilla soap. And it's so, so classic for cold process soap makers, for people that make soap all the time, especially people that started over five years ago. Black raspberry vanilla was the most common fragrance. It was the most common color combination, but I still love seeing them. Every time I get on Etsy or if I'm in a Facebook group, just like looking around, I love seeing that color profile. I love seeing that fragrance. It was popular for a reason and the fragrance is still so good. So it will be available on our December release day. And without further ado, let's make some soap. Okay guys, starting this as usual with our oil blend and our lye water solution. Just gonna pour this right in. So let's blend this up. Okay, so now it's time to pour off some accent colors. We're going to need three of them, the big, the big three. Now I have used this fragrance 15 million times, okay? I know how it does. So I'm going to go ahead and just add in my colors right now and mix them up and then I will hand blend everything else. So there goes our titanium dioxide. Here is our purple vibrance, our cosmic Carolyn, my precious, my lovely cosmic Carolyn, and raging raspberry. This is from from TKB. It is the magic secret sauce ingredient. It makes the whole soap look amazing. All right, let's go ahead and blend this in and then we'll add our fragrance. Now for the fragrance oil today, I am using Black Raspberry Vanilla from Wholesale Supplies Plus. They have the best one in my opinion. Okay, this looks so pretty. I forgot how much I love just everything about this soap. I've made it, like I said, a million times. I've included it in a lot of different collections, but I just keep coming back to it because it's so good and it is such a fan favorite fragrance. I don't think I've ever met anyone who didn't like it. It's just a classic and it's a classic for a reason. It's pleasantly sweet. It's not overpowering, but it does give you a really good whiff of berry. And I know you're probably being like, now Katie, why are you putting this in a Christmas collection? Well, quite frankly, I just feel like it goes well. And honestly, after I made the decision to put this in just kind of for mass appeal, also because I know that some people give gifts and stuff after Christmas or they send things a little bit late. So having something that isn't like, oh, you have to use this before Christmas day or it isn't relevant anymore um, as an offering is really nice. I actually have, you know, my natural soaps and stuff available for that reason as well. But after I made the decision to do like a Christmas berry soap, I saw that all of the suppliers started releasing fragrances that were berry central for Christmas. Like there were tons of holiday berry or Christmas berries or whatever from all these different suppliers. So maybe for once in my life, I'm on a scent trend. <laughs> Okay, everything has been mixed in. It looks beautiful. So let's start pouring in our two Brambleberry molds after this quick commercial break. 
Today's video is sponsored by Rakuten. Golly, I love Rakuten. Been using them for years and they have gotten me literally thousands of dollars cash back for royalty soaps as a small business and me personally. Now, if you've never heard of Rakuten, you don't know how it works, I will briefly explain. Rakuten is the largest cash back site and they partner with over 3,500 of the biggest name brands like Groupon, Kohl's, Macy's, Target, and more to bring you cash back coupons and promo codes all for free. You just click through the links found on Rakuten and then shop on the store's websites like you normally would or you can use the browser extension or app. I personally prefer the browser extension. I think it's really easy because anytime you go to a website that is partnered with Rakuten, even if you didn't know that they were partnered with Rakuten, a little drop down pops up in your browser and it's like, oi, do you want cash back? And you're like, uh, duh. And you can just click the link right there and they'll take you to the new tab. Don't forget to shop all of your Cyber Monday and Black Friday deals with Rakuten, okay? They're gonna save you so much more money. The deals are already good, but they're gonna to make it even better because think about it you'll be getting cash back on top of all of the already discounted deals so it's an absolute must I obviously already have it installed and last year I got over $250 cash back from all of my Christmas and holiday shopping so if that's not an incentive I don't know what is you can sign up for Rakuten by using the link down in the description box below and get a $40 sign up bonus when you make a qualifying purchase. So basically they're going to give you $40 cash back just for using them, which is just insane. Thank you so much to Rakuten for sponsoring today's video and happy holiday shopping, you guys. This isn't what I typically do, but I should just put one little line of the raspberry on the bottom because I feel like that will make it look <laughs> so good. Now let's pour a goodly bit of our white. We're gonna fill everything up about a fourth of the way through, which is like two passes-ish out of this container. This container lets more out than the little ones. And then we're gonna kind of use it sparingly. So we did raging raspberry first, now time for purple purple vibrance and it's just thick enough to hold the shape well but get a really good drop and of course our pink in fact I may have made a little bit too much of my accent colors this time we'll have to see in the cut if I think it's too much or if it needs more I'm gonna kind of swirl it around this time see if I can get it in lots of different spots like maybe roll it down the side here close as I can to the edge maybe the purple down the middle. I also think I may have added a little too much titanium dioxide. I may get some crackling on these, but that's okay. We live and learn. <laughs> All right, just back and forth now. Back and forth, back and forth, up and down. No rhyme or reason. Every single swirl will be so unique. Okay, but I think we should swirl it for fun because why not? I used to do this all the time. I don't know why I stopped. It's so much fun. And you can't tell with the cut bar because I am holding it in a very shallow position. Ugh, smells so good, looks so good. And now I will simply allow these to set up for a little bit while I mix up our soap frosting. All right, look how pretty. So we have the Atiko 866. I can't remember. I don't remember the tip name, but it's an open star tip. It only comes out on special occasions. Most of the time I would use this tip for like soap cupcakes um, or things that are heavily inspired by food like this soap. I mean, it's black raspberry vanilla for goodness sake. So it's the perfect little addition. I don't use it often, but when I need it, uh, there's nothing else that will do. So you kind of have to keep it around. Because this color is coming out so good, I am going to go ahead and move to the next one without filling in that middle. have to do that occasionally sometimes. Look 
now it's even more swirly looking. I'm going to try to be careful because admittedly, I'm not that good at using this dip. I always put too much. Now for some glitter. Look how beautiful this glitter blend is. It is one part silver rainbow eco glitter from Brambleberry, one part mauve majesty or mauve if you prefer to say it that way from the good glitter and one part hollow stardust from the good glitter. It is so gorgeous. The colors match perfectly and I am just going to sprinkle all across the top. Now let me just say that I can never add too much glitter hardly on things like this, right? Like it's just, it, it enhances the soap. However, these embeds on top are really, really nice. And that is why I'm adding the glitter first because I do not want glitter on the embeds distracting from the embeds. So I'm gonna turn it around now, make sure that I can get both sides equally. And remember to always add a little too much because some of it will fall off off in the cutting process. So better too much than not enough. We'll start by adding some of our most vibrant raspberries on. These are kind of a fuchsia color. Man, 2022. Ooh. I was being very reflective today because 2022 has brought a lot of changes for me personally. I've taken a lot of control of things that I like get out of control, including my health, um, but also bigger things to try. Lots of new stuff like homeschooling for the first year. Lily is in kindergarten this year. Will is in pre-K. So, you know, when you are in charge of teaching a kid how to read. That's a big responsibility. And I am surprised at how much fun I have had. It may shock you to know because I am the oldest of a very large family. If you're new around here, I'm the oldest of 10 kids, all from the same two parents. It may shock you to know that I never really thought much about like having a huge family. I know a lot of people that come from big families want big families, but like kids and stuff were not necessarily like on my Instagram instant to-do list. Uh, neither Caleb nor I really felt that way, but we still ended up having kids pretty young and it has been so fulfilling. Hot tip, if you determine to be content in your circumstances, <laughs> as I have done pretty early on, I found that that's very achievable and having a good attitude and finding joy in little things really helps me manage um, the stress, I would say, both parenting and homeschooling. Two things I didn't think I would be doing this young, quite frankly. And for those of y'all who are looking for a Lily and a Will update, well, they are doing splendidly. Lily is thriving. She actually loves music a whole lot. I'm teaching her some very, very basic piano and music theory. She's only five, so we're talking very, very basic, but she loves it. She soaks it up like a sponge. Um, very big into calico critters right now. Don't know if you guys have ever seen calico critters, but they are so cute. Will is still my Winnie the Pooh loving boy. He has also recently acquired an affinity for John Deere tractors. <laughs> I think that mainly has to do with the fact that lots of our neighbors are running their tractors now because it's time to do hay bales in Texas and we live on some property and there's lots of open land surrounding us so there's lots of tractors going by and he thinks that is pretty rad. So there you go little update about the fam and a finished holiday berry soap. So I'm gonna spritz this gently very gently. It already has all that glitter on it and I don't want to melt it 
So just a little, but holy Toledo, we are loving it. Looky here. Let me bring you in and I won't wiggle woggle you around. That's why I don't do the handheld shots anymore because I was making some people dizzy. <laughs> Sorry, I have such shaky hands, but here you go. That's what the soap looks like up close and we'll come back tomorrow to cut it all up and take a peek at the inside. Okay, let's get this black raspberry vanilla soap cut. It literally looks just as good the next day. If this is one of the first soaps you're ever making and you happen to use this fragrance, be forewarned, sometimes you do have to let it sit a little bit longer than 18 to 24 hours, just because it is a really sticky fragrance. Like it's amazing to work with, but it does, it, it can be difficult in that way. Press down take one from the middle. This is what it looks like on the inside. And don't worry, don't worry. That icky orange color is really just the pink. It will look pink by the end of this. I'll set these off to the side and after a few minutes, I'll show you what it looks like. But you can see super swirly, like just the right amount of swirl that it just looks gorgeous. All right, question of the day. What are some older fragrances that you wish would come back into style that you're just waiting for more people to put products out with smells that are similar to it or exactly like it. Nobody uses cucumber melon anymore and I'm sad about it. I really love that. Like all the old Bath and Body Works scents are kind of out and it's just the worst. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please let us know down in the comments below. We're gonna be doing a lot of fun things this month. I know that it's November and we're not quite to like the Christmas season yet, but we are preparing for it. There's gonna be some really fun videos this month. I took a little bit of a break from soap making. We're gonna try some other crafts. It's gonna be great. So thanks for watching today's video. Be sure you do something fun for yourself today, like drinking a glass of lemon ginger tea. That's probably what I'm gonna do after this, or maybe going out and picking out some homemade Christmas crafts that you're going to make this year to give to family and friends. I personally would like to try to make chocolate like from scratch, like with a cacao pod. That might be really fun. <gasps> That might be a really fun video. Maybe I could do that for Soapmas. Mm -hmm. But you guys know I don't really care what you do. Just be sure you do something fun for yourself and I will see you all in the next video. So until then, bye for now. Meow.